letting me go to the next. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, so hi everyone. My name is AJ Kirby and I'm the Assistant Director for Outreach and Engagement with University Recreation. Um, I've been with the department for about three years now and I'm here just to tell you a little bit more about the programs and the services and facilities that we offer to the UNC Charlotte community. Um, I'm going to go through the presentation as if it were a typical year so I can tell you a little bit more about the full breadth of the programs we offer. Um, but I will save time at the end because I know there are a lot of questions surrounding kind of the COVID situation and what may look different when students return in the fall. So I will address that um, at the end, but feel free if you have any questions just to drop them in the Q&A and I'll address those um, when we get to the end. So we'll start with our uh, mission statement, kind of our core values of the department. So we really work to engage the university community through recreational programs, activities, and facilities with a commitment to our core values, um, which you can see listed as student development, balance, fun, inclusion, quality, and safety. And we really make sure that we weave those through all of the things that we offer to our community. Um, and the big thing is that we really want to be accountability partners in the well-being journey of those who come into our facilities, so especially for our students. And you'll see as I start going through kind of um, graphics and that kind of thing in our new facility, um, we were very intentional to make sure that it was built by the students for the students. So there are a lot of handwritten student goals that are infused throughout the building and some positive messages to make sure that it's in a welcoming environment to anyone who comes through our doors. Uh, our main facility and the one that we're the most excited to share is our brand new University Recreation Center. So that actually opened in January of this year. Um, it's five levels and 148,000 square feet. Um, and it's got some pretty cool features within it. So you can see some of the pictures or examples of um, what is included inside. But within it, we have on the top level, a smaller, more boutique style um, fitness space. So it's more quiet and less crowded for someone who really enjoys that environment when working out. And it also includes our mind and body studio where we hold some of our group fitness classes around that particular area. The fourth level is going to be where our indoor track is. So it actually changes elevations as you go around the building and it's a sixth of a mile for one lap. And then we also have an indoor turf area that we call the playground. Um, and that's more for calisthenic type workouts. So anything that you can think of that you would want to do in an outdoor workout, it's just bringing it inside. Level three is actually going to be the level that you enter on. So that's where our offices are. Um, that's also where our multi-purpose courts are. So there are four of those um, and those can be used for basketball, volleyball, badminton, table tennis, pickleball. Um, larger group fitness classes. So there, it's a very versatile area. There's also a demo kitchen, um, which is a really neat feature that we were able to add. It's a partnership between the university nutritionist and our Chartwells or nutrition group on campus. And we're able to offer both demo and educational sessions around healthy eating and healthy choices. Um, so those are weekly um, and it rotates between an educational session and a hands-on workshop. Level three also includes our gaming room, which was a new addition with this facility. So we offer different e-gaming activities um, and just a space for students to come in and check out the equipment and be able to play um, both virtually and with their friends in person. Then as we move down to the second level, that's going to be one of our main cardio and strength training areas. Um, so you'll see pretty much all the equipment that you would need to do a full workout and it's more selectorized type equipment. Um, the second level is also home to the majority of our studios. So there are four studios on that floor um, that are used for both group fitness and for our sport clubs and other special events. And then the first level is more of our heavy lifting area. So that's where you're going to see your plate loaded equipment and the heavy lifting rigs where you can do some more of the spotted work um, within those brackets. And then there's also an indoor pool um, and that has a vortex loop, which is really good for resistance based training, a half court basketball area, and we have lap lanes there as well. And then the newest additions, which are set to open for the fall would be our outdoor pool 
which is more of a leisure space. And then we also have an outdoor basketball court that also has pickleball and an outdoor sand volleyball court. So there are a lot of opportunities just within this one space and it's located central to campus. So it's right next to the student union. Um, and we really do pride ourselves that there are so many different spaces and opportunities within the building that there's really something for everyone. So we don't want students to feel intimidated when they walk in. This is not a place where you have to already be physically fit to be able to attend or to participate with us. It's open and welcoming to any person who wants to come in. And if you're starting out and this is kind of your first time getting into a fitness or a recreation routine, we have a lot of staff in place to be able to assist you and make you feel comfortable um, and answer your questions so that you can really fulfill whatever it is that your well-being and fitness goals are, um, both now and long term. The other facilities that we offer, so there's another indoor facility, it's called Belk Gym. Uh, this used to be our primary facility, but now it's just kind of a secondary space for overflow. Um, so there are multi-purpose courts there as well as racquetball courts. Um, it also, that building is home to our kinesiology department, so they do take um, quite a bit of time there for classes and that kind of thing. So it's not used as much as it used to, but it's still an option. Um, and then for outdoor facilities, we have some pretty cool spaces. The Northeast Recreational Field Complex is located just off of campus, so it's right across from our Greek village. It's a turf area, and it is home to our intramural sports program, as well as to open recreation. So it is available when it's open for students to be able to come and play pickup games with their friends. We also offer the Hayes Field Complex, um, and that is home to our sport club program. So it isn't necessarily open for open recreation, but if you were to participate in one of those programs, um, you would have access to that facility during its um, operational hours. And then the newest option is CORE. So it's the Calisthenic Outdoor Recreation Equipment. Um, and that was a partnership with the Levine Scholars Program. And it's located next to the Greenway and across from Belk Hall. And it's basically monkey bars, dip bars, pull up bars, jump boxes. So just some things to kind of supplement your outdoor workout. And where it's located next to the Greenway, it's a great kind of stopping place to get in some um, calisthenic type workouts. So those are our facilities. Now, in terms of program areas, uh, we offer a lot of different opportunities, both structured and unstructured. So our open recreation program is really our unstructured program. And that's the opportunity for someone to come over to the facility on their own time when it makes sense for them to come and play basketball or volleyball or badminton, table tennis, whatever it may be, for as long as they want to. So it's really to fit the student's schedule. Um, it's a great way to be social and it's a great way to relieve stress. So there are a lot of opportunities there. And then we've also added, as I mentioned, the e-gaming or video games, but we also have board games that are able to be checked out. And the equipment for all of that stuff is already included at UREC. All you have to do is have your student ID to be able to check out any of the equipment and it's at no additional charge. We do have some pieces that you can purchase if you wanted to have your own like boxing gloves or hand wraps, some of those kinds of things. But the majority of our programs and services there's no additional charge for. They're already included in your student activity fees. Um, so we try to make it as easy as possible for students to be able to participate. And then in terms of one of our structured programs that kind of is also an open rec program is aquatics. So we offer the opportunity for people to come in and do lap swimming at their convenience. Um, but if they want a more structured program, we do offer swim lessons, safety courses, log rolling clinics, um, so it kind of does both. There's open rec opportunities and structured programming. Our fitness program is one of our most popular programs, and there are a lot of ways that you can engage with us through fitness, um, besides coming to the facility and using the equipment on your own time. Um, we offer a group fitness program that is by far one of our most popular services. And right now we offer over 80 classes per week it's seven days a week, and they range from early morning all the way to late night, and there's 20 different formats. So any of the typical classes that you could think of that you've heard, whether it's cycling, yoga, Zumba, twerk and tone, kickboxing, we offer a variety of those, body pump, um, and they're all with certified instructors. So it would be typical to what you would see in other gym facilities. Uh, it just fits a little bit more with the student schedule, 
and they're offered more frequently throughout the day so that you can find one that fits what your needs are. It also is a schedule that lasts for the entire semester. So whatever the fall semester schedule is, it sticks week to week. So it makes it easier for you to make a routine based off of the classes that you enjoy. Now, if you want something that's a little more personalized and you want a one-on-one -on -one kind of accountability partner, or you have a friend and the two of you want to do um, specialized training, we do offer personal trainers. And those are certified trainers that can help you reach your health and well-being goals, whatever it may be. Um, there is a small fee associated with that, but it's a very competitive fee to any other facility that you would see in the area. Uh, but that's really for our students who, you know, really have their goals set in mind or they need help getting started or they need someone to hold them accountable. And we do offer that. The other option that is new this year, once we open the facility, is called our small group and our specialty training. So those trainings are six week cohort style. So there's specialized formats like weight, weight training, yoga, boxing, those kinds of things. So you stay with that same group for the course of the six weeks. So you're able to see your progress and your consistency. So you build off of each thing. Whereas group fitness may not build as much because it is for someone who wants to drop in. So it may not have the consistency that you would get with the cohort style. So just something to keep in mind. Um, there is a small fee associated with that too, but it's more for the accountability factor because we found when students are invested in something, they're more likely to stick with it. We have two competitive sports programs. So the first one is our intramural sports. And those are teams that compete with other teams on campus. So um, we offer multiple versions and leagues and tournaments and things for students. So there's co-recreational, there's men's and there's women's. And then there's also based off of kind of your competitive level, a competitive league, an intermediate league and a recreational league for those that are just starting out. So lots of opportunities to get involved. Um, and in terms of format, we offer anything from a multi-week league with playoffs and championships to a one day or one weekend tournament for some of our smaller pieces. So it's really up to the student to kind of pick how much time commitment they want to have with the program. And we do offer all your typical sports that you can think of. So um, basketball, volleyball, softball, flag football, soccer. And we do then also offer some alternative sports like bubble soccer, archery tag, cornhole. So we try to provide a variety of options so that there's something for everyone. Now, intramural sports are a great way to meet new people. So you can either sign up with a team or you can be a part of our free agent program. And what that means is that we would assign you or draft you to a team. And we have a lot of teams that go through the free agent method. And some of those teams have stuck for the entire four years that the students were on campus because they enjoyed working and playing with each other so much. Um, so definitely something to keep in mind. We really enjoy having that part of the program and we want students to take advantage of that because of the opportunity to make friends through the um, program. Now the other competitive sport option is our sport club program. So there are 40 of those right now, and they are actually student run and led organizations um, approved through our student activities group. And they range anywhere from your typical sports, as I've mentioned, to bass fishing, laser tag, quidditch, kung fu, snowboarding. Um, so this really runs the gamut of anything you could possibly think of that you would want to participate in in terms of recreation. Um, and these teams compete Though some are instructional, a majority of them compete against other teams in our state, in our region, sometimes even in our nation. Um, and they are pretty well known organizations. Um, they do very well in competition. So our rugby team, our men's rugby team, actually won the national championship a couple of years ago. Our bass fishing team goes to the national championship every year. Um, our disc golf has been ranked in the top 15 in the country. Um, but I don't want you all to think that you can't be a part of one of these programs if you haven't done one of these sports or one of these activities before, because that's not the case. So they actually are all a part of national charters. And within their charter, they say that they're able to hold tryouts, but they're not able to cut students. So when they have tryouts, which most of them do, 
they end up establishing an A team, a B team, a C team, and then depending on where they travel and what the competition is and budgetary guidelines, then they're able to bring different teams or more teams depending on what it is. So um, an example of someone who tried something new, um, we had a student named Jacob who was an ultimate Frisbee player and he hadn't played at all until he came to college and decided to try it. And he ended up being really good at it he played for his four years. He tried out for the national team, made it. And so um, last January, he was actually able to represent our school and the USA in the World Games um, in Australia. So someone who tried something new and found something that they loved. So that's why we always recommend if you have an interest or an inkling at all and want to try something, do it because you never know. You may love it or it may not be your thing. But if it's not, we have a ton of other options for you to be able to find something that really is kind of your, your thing. And we do offer signature events throughout the year. Typically our first one would be Wreckfest, which would be the weekend of move-in of the fall. Um, we did have to postpone it this year to the spring, but that's definitely something to keep in mind for future years. It's a great opportunity to learn about our Charlotte area businesses and restaurants, but also you know, our department definitely, and then other departments on campus. And it's a fun event where we have activities and food samples and giveaways, and it's just a great time to meet new people interested in similar things. And then we also offer an October Party and Peak group fitness sampler, a 49er Gold Rush 5K, um, a Nursa Recreational Sports Day that takes place in February, a lifting competition every April, and then we also offer an on the green golf tournament at the end of each year. Now, one of the things that we're the most proud of in our department is our student employment. So we are one of the largest employers of students on campus. So any of these programs and services that I've mentioned to you all, a majority of those are actually ran or facilitated by our students. So we have around 350 student employees and they, um, through the list, you can kind of see we have field assistants, field officials, building managers, lifeguards, swim instructors, our design team for our graphics, our social media ambassadors, um, and our group fitness instructors and personal trainers. So those are all students. Um, and something that's really cool is that we have someone in our office that's dedicated to student development. And so their job is to design workshops and programs for our employees to make sure that when they leave our department to move on through graduation, that they're leaving a better professional than they were when they came in. And so he works a lot on those kinds of programs, but we also have a student professional development fund. So the golf tournament that I mentioned and the 5K that I mentioned, the net proceeds for those go into the fund. And basically what that means is that a student who works for us, they can request money through the fund to be able to obtain a certification, attend a conference, um, whatever it is. And it doesn't necessarily have to be in relation to recreation or our department. It can be something to better them academically as well. So we really pride ourselves in that. And that's a pretty unique offering from our department. So if you're looking for a job on campus, um, I highly recommend coming to our department. I think we're a pretty fun place to work and we have a lot of opportunities. So if you want to check it out, I know we do still have a few positions available. Um, if you go to Hire a Niner and you just search University Recreation, you should be able to find them there. So now just to touch a little bit on kind of the current situation and what we're looking at for the fall. Um, we're trying as best we can to uphold the state guidance and the university guidance that we're being given both as a university and as a gym facility. So we're taking extra precautions in terms of cleaning to make sure that we have students rotating through, doing extra rounds of cleaning, cleaning equipment, making sure lockers are wiped down for day use. Um, and then we also are encouraging students to, if they want to, wipe down their equipment before use, and then it's required for them to wipe it down after every use of their um, reps or whatever it may be. We also are adding um, some stations for hand sanitization. We're inputting sneeze guards and those kinds of things through the places where it's like desk kind of atmospheres. And we are gonna operate at a reduced capacity just based off of guidelines and to make sure that we can maintain social distancing. 
So you may see certain pieces of equipment offline one day and then then switch to the next day. And that's just because we can't have a person on every single treadmill and be able to maintain social distancing. So um, we're working really hard just to make sure that we have these processes and protocols in place. And then we will have reduced operational hours. Um, and that's just because we want to make sure that we close earlier every night to allow our third staff facilities employees to be able to deep clean the facility. So a lot of things in place, but as you all know, I'm sure a lot of things are changing and they're consistently evolving. So we're staying on top of whatever the guidelines are because we do want to make sure that we're doing whatever is best for the students to keep them safe um, in our campus community. So we'll be constantly watching that. And I'm sure if you all have any specific questions, I can try to answer those to the best of my abilities. Um, so what's next? How do you get involved? So Right now, since UREC is closed, we are offering virtual programming. So you can participate in our online trivia, our brackets, our group fitness classes, all of those things are open to you all as incoming students now. Um, you can find those by either following us on social media. Um, Instagram is our biggest, but we also have Twitter and Facebook and our handles at UNCC UREC. Um, we post a new schedule every Sunday to our Instagram and Facebook page um, with links or information about how to participate. And then you can also visit our website. So if you don't have social media or you don't want to do it that way, you can go to our website and we have an upcoming event section. And that's where you can find the links to all of the group fitness classes and all of the other activities that you can sign up for. So we just finished a virtual 5K program. So that would be something you could look into for future um, programs too, because we will be offering that kind of thing in the future. You can also email our department if you have specific questions. So it's u-rec at uncc.edu. Or if you want to contact me, I am more than happy to answer any questions that you have too after the program. Um, and my email is aj.kirby, K-I-R-B-Y, at uncc.edu. Um, so I would just say, you know, don't wait until the fall to get involved. We have a lot of fun things to offer. And then going into the fall semester, our intention is to open and then we'll offer still some virtual programming to meet the demand based off of our capacity requirements. Um, but we do hope to offer the in-person formats as well. So I think that's all I have for you all. So I am ready for your questions. Yes, um, so we cannot hear nor see you. So if you have any questions, please put them in the Q&A box um, and AJ will be able to answer them. And I think the only prep questions we got were around group fitness offerings and then changes to the fall. So I think we talked about both of those already. Well, it doesn't look like there are any questions. Okay. Um, but there's the contact information um, for UREC if you need to reach out to them. Um, you can visit the webpage, you can email them um, or contact um, AJ directly. Um, and yeah, I think that's okay. about it. Well, thank you all so much for the time and thank you for facilitating. Oh, no problem. Thank you all for attending and thank you, AJ, for presenting again. Um, everyone have a great weekend. You too. Bye.